Hi, this is Almiri Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine, today demonstrating surgical cricothyroidotomy. Surgical cricothyroidotomy is an emergency airway procedure to gain definitive control of the airway once conventional procedures have failed and while awaiting final definitive control of the airway. The first step would be to correctly identify the landmarks being the cricothyroid membrane. One would feel for the prominence of the larynx, which is the thyroid cartilage, and slide the finger towards the feet, feeling the cricothyroid space between the thyroid and the cricoid ring. In an anatomical model, one can see the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and the cricothyroid space in between, which would be covered by the cricothyroid membrane. Equipment required to perform the following skill are the following. You require a blade, one or two curved artery forceps, an ET tube, which would be smaller than the standard intubation for that size of adult. This is because the cricothyroid membrane is smaller and won't allow passage of the large tube. And a syringe to inflate the cuff. It's important to remember that this procedure can be quite bloody and having a good supply of gauze and considering suction to control blood in the area is advisable. There are many excellent commercial devices available for surgical cricothyroidotomy but today we will show you a technique using only which is that which is available in To perform the procedure, start by cleaning the neck as well as possible. You would then identify the cricothyroid membrane with your finger and keep the skin taut over that area. Take your blade and in a single, confident, horizontal motion, puncture both the skin and the cricoid membrane and make a horizontal incision in the anterior neck. Maintain control of the larynx and take the curved artery forceps gently into the hole to spread it and maintain the hole. At this point in time, insert the ET tube. Often a rotating motion is necessary and guide it towards the feet of the patient. Once passed, ask an assistant to hold the ET tube in place or ask the assistant to inflate the cuff for you. Once the cuff is inflated, connect your ET tube to your ventilation device, in this case a self-inflating bag valve device. Confirm placement of the tube with clinical inspection of the patient and if available, a CO2 detector device. The tube should now be secured in place and planning for definitive surgical control of the airway should commence. As you can see here, because of the shallow insertion of the tube, there is often quite a lot of extra tube around that can complicate the technical management of the airway. It would not be wrong to take a pair of scissors and trim the airway about halfway down, remove the connector device and insert it at that depth. Please take care not to cut the pilot tubing or the cuff tubing and also not to cut just to the pilot or the cuff tubing. And that's it, surgical cracker thyroid dot.